Hey guys, welcome to today's class. Have fun. My name is Ahmadi Solomon Chidebere. Um, the next topic that I'm going to be taking here is basic operations involving binary numbers. Uh, we're going to be doing addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division in base 2. I want to take, I want you to take note of these rules. 0 plus 0 in base 2 will give you 0. 0 plus 1 will give you 1. 1 plus 0 will give you 1. 1 plus 1 will give you what? Will give you 10. And and then 0 minus 0 will give you 0. 1 minus 0 will give you 1. 1 minus 1 will give you 0. 10 minus 1 will give you 1. How do they come about this? I'm going to explain. Uh, when you have 1 plus 1, definitely in mathematics, is 2. I don't know if you understand. But when it has to do with um, base 2 numbers, this 2 is in what is in base 10 this calculation now is in base 10 well, let's calculate in base 10 but involving base 2 numbers or base 3 or base 4 but now we are dealing with base 2 what how you convert this 2 to a base 2 number is by dividing by 2 so when you divide this 2 by 2 we have 2 divided by 2 here will give you 1 remainder word 0 2 divided by 1 will give you what? will give you 0 remainder what? 1. So we take this up. You now have what? 10 as your what? As your number. So 10 is now what? Is now the 2. 10 in base 2 is now the 2 of what? Of, of, of base 10. Understand? So the same thing here. 10 minus 1 will give you 1. So looking at this actually this 10 is what when you convert it to base 2 will give you what this is 2 in base 2 and then this is 1 in base 2 so 2 minus 1 will give you what will give you 1 2 minus 1 will give you what will give you 1 so you now understand that so that's how we work. So, uh, we're doing some calculations now. So, looking at this calculation, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. This is a base 2 figure. So, 1 minus 0 will give you 1 in base 2. 0 minus 1 will give you 1. 0 minus 1. This zero cannot go into one. So what you do, you borrow one from here. And when you borrow one from here, automatically this 10 becomes what? Becomes 2. You don't understand? So changing it to in base 2, just see it as what? This 10 is 2 of what? Of base 10. So when you take that one to this side, it's also 2. Of base 10 but 10 in base 2 so 2 minus 1 will give you 1 so here becomes what is left with 1 then also so 1 minus 1 will give you 0 why here is left with 0 go took this one so here is 0 then 1 so that's that for that calculation but if you have to, uh, if you have to sum both of them 1 plus 0 will give you 1 0 plus 1 will give you 1 0 plus 1 will give you 1 1 plus 0 will give you 1. 1 plus 0 will give you 1. So that's that for that. So let's come to our multiplication. 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. If you have to multiply these two numbers now, you have 1 times 1, 1. 1 times 0, 0. 1 times 1, 1. Normal for multiplication. 1 times 1, 1. 1 times 0, 0. 1 times 1, 1. So if you have to sum them up now, you have 1. You have 1. You have 1. 1 plus 0, 1. Then 1. 0 plus 1 will give you 1. So this is the answer for this word, for this uh, for this equation. So coming to it here, let's say for instance I want to divide these two. 1, 0, 1 over 11. You can't actually divide basically in um, a base 2. You may, may be confused, you may get wrong answers. So what we do, we normally convert it back to base 10 numbers 
before we can divide so i'll show you how that is done so this is a sample of some of the calculations we did which are in base 10 in base 2 we we'll convert them to base 2 you know to come to our answer you can also do it here in uh, addition and and subtraction but that's another waste of time and in an exam condition you can't want you really want to waste that time so how we convert in base to base 10 is in this way you have term now you assume that this figure here the last figure to the power of zero followed by this next one which is in power of one if you have another number here or he and here and here this one will be to the power of two for example we have a zero here we have a one here this one will be to the power of two this one will be to the power of three this one will be to the power of four this one will be to the power of five this one will be to the power of six well, let's know that the zero starts from behind so when calculating when converting to base 10 so now we are dealing with just these two so we have since we are dealing with base 2, if you are in base 3, that means here will be 3 times 1 to the power of 3 times 1 to the power of 1. But now we are dealing or and then 3 times um 3 to the power of 0 times what times 0 if you are dealing with base 3. If you are dealing with base 4, the same thing 4 to the power of 1 times 1 plus 4 to the power of 0 times 0. But here we are dealing with base 2. So we have 2 times 2 to the power of 1 times 1 plus 2 to the power of 0 times 0. We should now give you what 2 plus 0 so that's where we converted this 10 to 2 so 1 converting this 1 to 1 1 to the power of 0 we just have it carrying a 0 so here 2 to the power of 0 times 1 will now give you what and 2 to the power of 0 in mathematics is equivalent to 1 so we have 1 times 1 which is equal to 1 so 2 minus 1 will give you what 1 so that's how we got 10 minus 1 which is equal to 1 so coming to division now we have to convert this 101 1 and 11 before we can be able to divide but co coming to this place 2 times 2 to the power of 2 times 1 plus 2 to the power of 1 times 0 plus 2 to the power of 0 times 1 so when you do your calculations 2 to the power of 2 is 4 times 1 plus 2 to the 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2, 2 times 0, 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 1, 1 times 1. So we have 4 plus 0 plus 1, we have 5. And then this 11, converting into base 10, 2 to the power of 1 times 1 plus 2 to the power of 0 times 1. So what we have here is 2 times 1 plus 2 to the power of 0 is equivalent to 1, so 1 times 1, so 2 plus 1 is 3. So 5 over 3, you have to convert it. 5 over 3 is 1.6, but looking at this, 1.6, we cannot divide them in base 2 to give us a base 2 number. So, most times in exam uh, examination, they, they won't give you any number that will give you a decimal point. So, we we'll avoid that. So, let's look for a number that will give us a whole a hoof uh, this when divided the whole number when divided so we have one 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 divided by one one so here converting this one one to a base 10 number we have one carry zero one carry one one carry two one carry three one carry four one carry five so we now have one times two to the power of five plus one times two to the power of four plus one times two to the power of three it follows that way and then 1 to give you 1 times 2 to the power of 0. So 2 to the power of 5 will give you 32. 2 to the power of 4 is 16 times 1, 16. 2 to the power of 3 will give you 8 times 1, 8. So 2 to the power of 0 will give you 1 times 1, that's 1 times 1. So here, when you sum them up, we'll give you 63 in base 10. And this 11 will give you 3 in base what? In base 10. So 63 divided by 3 will give you what, 21 in base 10. So this 21 now is in base 10. We will now convert it back to base 2. And you convert it to base 2, I told you, you normally use your division. So 2 divided by 21 will give you 10, remainder 1. 2 divided by 10 will give you 5, remainder 0. 2 to the power of 2 will give you 1, remainder 0. 2 to the power of 0 will give you 0, remainder 1. So taking it up, 
you now have one zero one zero one so now one zero one one zero two in base two so when this device when this device this it gives you one zero one zero one in base two I think that's that for addition subtraction multiplication and division of numbers in base two so if you have any question you can just drop it at the comment box thank you I hope the class was interesting. If you have questions, please drop them in the comment section or send us an email. We would love to help you further. See you in the next class.